Hello YouTube, so I'm here to, on this video, to show you uh, my display and what I've gotten so far. Um, I, there's a lot I didn't show um, before on other unboxing videos. Um, I just, again, I haven't had time. I just opened up the boxes and displayed them and said, okay, I'll make a video next time. So just to forewarn you, I'm gonna be moving around a lot and um, hopefully you don't get any motion sickness, so I apologize. And again, I'm still learning crystals. I will try my best to identify them. And um, if you have any questions about the crystals, um, just let me know and I'll get more information on it. And uh, hopefully enjoy. So let's start here with the cat, <laughs> Angelina. And like I said in my last video, so brown, brown, white, light brown and I wish I can show you my snake so um but I can't so forgive me the room is not that clean this is a glass table for my stand so it shows everything so I'm not I swear I'm not dirty I clean a lot and no matter what everything gets dusty so it's actually a fossil shell with agate in it a beautiful druzy agate but yeah you can see there's the fossil right there so it kind of grew together and I put this along with these other stones these this is a um, petrified crystal it's not wood um, it's a different type of stone this is shungite no 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 this isn't shungite this is um Oh my god. I'll get back to you on this. But you probably know. If you know, then you know what it is. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, so there's that. Um, it'll come up by he my head soon. Um, here's a piece of petrified wood. Absolutely gorgeous. And like my previous videos, I said that this um, is wood that gets crystallized. And here's a jasper polychromes most likely and this is another piece of petrified wood but freeform absolutely gorgeous and there's another piece of petrified wood now these are absolutely I love these I got this from uh, a family called sacred earth crystals and they do shows uh, twice a week crazy ridiculous prices um, I highly recommend them um, but these are hand carved from Peru, um, from and guess what they are? Palo Santo, carved Palo Santo, and they smell amazing. I mean, uh, wait till you see the bracelet I have. It's a Palo Santo bracelet. Um, here is a bear, and I love that it's hand carved. Anything hand carved is amazing. Uh, one of my favorite quotes. From Walt Disney, if you can dream it, you can do it. A turtle. I thought this was cool. You can't just have one. I mean, he's missing a friend, but these are actually closures I got a long time ago. They're agate, blue agates, and they're dyed. So, again, forgive me for the mess. There's another jasper here. This is desert jasper, I believe. Here's an agate slice. Um, so if you put it up against the light, it's like bubbles. Beautiful, beautiful. It came with a little stand here too. I should put that on right. This is something metal. <laughs> Again, and this one actually, this one broke yesterday. I dropped it. I had my feet up here and had my VR headset and didn't know my feet was near this and it dropped and it broke. So, still. So, Still, still part of the family though. And here's another Jasper. This is Ocean Jasper. Um, and I love this because it looks like the ocean. I mean, you have the land here, the ocean waves, some kind of, a little bit of the island here, and all ocean water in the back. So this tells a story on its own. I'm not a really big heart fan, but when I saw this, I saw, you know, I was like, oh, that's so cool. So this is like the coolest part. 
these are my spheres and it kind of looks like the solar system um let me turn this off here but before i show you this if you're a huge star wars fan like i am um you'll love this this is a hand carved obsidian darth vader <laughs> um and i absolutely when the uh this person sold or I was posting this on Instagram. Again, I get a lot of this stuff from Instagram. Um, I said, oh my God, do you have another one? And uh, she's like, yeah, I know the person that hand carves these. Let me get to them. And she said, yeah, I can get you one. And I purchased this and um, I'm, it's so worth it. Nice little size. Obsidian's really good for protection and stuff. But oh my God, it's Darth Vader. It's an amazing job. So that was so cool. Um, a lot of you saw this in my last videos. Um, this is my lab sphere. Laborite. Which is one of my favorite. Look at all that blue right there. Crazy. Look at that. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, carnelian. Um, Mangano, Mangano um, uh, quartz, I believe. I'm probably butchering the name. Let me see if I can find, here's my UV light. Um, hey Google, turn off the light. Yeah, I'm not lazy. But here's my UV light. So let's see if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. Hopefully this works. But it's UV reactive. There you go. And it's pink. It's like a, kind of like a still light pink, but when it's UV, it's all pink. So I thought that was really cool. So if you have a party with a UV light, it's going to be pretty cool. Hey Google, turn on the light. And this, yeah, this is like a little uh, sphere, it's plastic, but I thought it was cool because it just smoothly goes around let me turn this off okay um blue appetite no 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 this isn't yeah that's blue appetite never mind forgive me blue appetite some flash there um pyrite uh lapis lazuli and lapis contains pyrite and quick known fact this is a stone that was used by Cleopatra herself, she used it um, for makeup. Not sure how, but she did. <laughs> so this one's really cool. This has all the chakras. Um, this was man-made, of course. Um, clear quartz, amethyst, smoky, jasper, all the fun stuff. My little Buddha there. This is cool. This is yellow turquoise with pyrite. Everything has pyrite in it. It's interesting. But yellow turquoise, which is pretty cool. Uh, peach moonstone peach moonstone um, if you don't have peach moonstone get it the mines are closed um, so they're extremely hard to get now so if you can get it now get it blue calcite there's a funny story about that well not really funny sort of funny but this is my last video the giant fluorite sphere that's like a bowling ball it's the biggest one I've ever seen in my life the biggest ball yeah anyways um orange calcite nice orangey creamsicle color this is a beautiful stone i just um learned about chalcedony chalcedony yeah chalcedony i believe and it's not smooth it's not polished um it usually comes pretty rough um but the stone is absolutely gorgeous super rare there's actually copper in it as well you see there's copper 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 um this is i love this this is a rainbow um uh quartz um they also call this optical quartz um but there's, every turn you make is a rainbow and it's just you look and look at this all day and it's like a story again crystals have stories 
and you can just look at them. Um, septarian, Korean Septarian. Um, this is Shungite. No, it's not Obsidian. Obsidian or Shungite. Malachite, one of my favorites as well. Again, remember, malachite is toxic, but when it's polished malachite, it's safe to hold. Um, but anything raw is toxic to um, hold, but especially breathe. Don't breathe it in. It's another rainbow quartz. Very beautiful clear quartz. Little tiny guy. This is shungite. That's shungite, because I can tell by how light it is. Yeah, these are shungite. You can tell the difference. And there's, I had to clean these. So that's obsidian. And known fact with obsidian, as you can see, you can see myself. You can see the background. This was actually the first mirror they used in, back in the days. Olden days, way olden days before mirrors. So they used this as mirrors. Pretty cool fact I learned. Okay, so we're going back to the table. Um... I found this little jar and uh, got my garnets in there. Fluorites, random temples. So I got that. Um, this is hematite, very heavy piece here. Um, this is sapphire. And a lot of these are sapphire. This is a beautiful garnet piece, raw garnet. And this is the red you want. You see that right there? That's the red you want in garnet. That right here. Beautiful example. That's what you want in garnet. And this is a really smooth piece. Um, more sapphire. So emerald, sapphires, garnet, um, precious stones, they're considered. Um, this piece is another. Uh, it's... Uh, Azurite with malachite. So again, you want to be careful how long you hold it. Um, don't hold it at all if you can. Um, I washed my hands earlier and I'll wash my hands after. But azurite is safe to hold. Um, but this azurite and malachite, which is pretty cool. This is something. <laughs> I forget what this piece is called. Sorry, but here's hematite and tourmaline, black tourmaline. That was cool. This I showed in my last videos. This is um, aquamarine, raw piece of aquamarine. Uh, Pyrido, raw Pyrido. I think I showed this already. Uh, that's my birthstone. Um, and this is raw emerald. Look at all the emerald in there. Huge piece, absolutely beautiful display. See that color right there? That's what you want in emerald. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, oh, here's another raw emerald with um, hematite on it. A little emerald point there, but this is what emerald looks like on there. This one's cool. I think I showed this in a previous video. This is all sparkles. Um, Chrysocolla. I absolutely love Chrysocolla. Um, and I found this, this is actually an old watch case I had, and, um, so I found this extra one and I took away the cushions <laughs> for the, uh, um, watches and put my palm stones in there. Um, this is called 23. There's actually 23 minerals. Now you've heard of Super 7, 7 minerals. 23 has 23 minerals. Um, those are hard to find. This is, uh, Chalcedony. Chalcedony, Chalcedony. Yeah. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Um, here's Flower Agate. There's some moss in there. So cool. And I'm not really big into stars or hearts, but, um, yeah, here's some clear moss. 
It's like a little garden. They call it garden moss, I believe. Um, if, <laughs> cat scared me. Um, if you don't have one of these, get one. This is the oldest stone you can ever get. Um, this is probably the oldest stone in my collection. And this is called a shaman stone. Great for meditation. And you hold it. And I'm not kidding. Your arm tingles. It feels like this electric, small electric shock is going through your body. It's that powerful. I'm not kidding. Um, and I test it with family and friends. I said, hey, hold this. What do you feel? And they're like, oh my god, my arm's tingling. And I'm like, yep, that's the energy from this shaman stone. So that was cool. Um, it's a lab piece. This actually came free with a gift. I was like, oh, this is so cool. Look at the flash in that. Wait till you see the big lab piece I got. Oh, that has so much flash. Okay. This is called Indigo, I believe. Oh no, this is Merlin Stone. Merlin Stone, my bad. There's so many names. This is crazy. I have a couple golden healers. Highly recommend this. If you're going through pain, suffering, um, or just need to clear your head, Golden Healer helps a lot. Um, a couple of rose quartz is a beautiful pink. Um, carnelian. This is Infinite Stone. Love this stone. Very powerful stone. Um, this is a cute little sandstone. I love blue sandstone. Because if you just look at it, it just looks like stars, and you're looking up at the stars. And I love look. I can look up the stars for hours and hours. So, but blue uh, sandstone's uh, man-made. So, FYI, this is some moonstone. I believe, yeah, this is moonstone. I forget what they call it, but I thought that was cool. The little veiny green veins. Um, this is a, the Petalite. This could be pink tourmaline. Pink tourmaline or green or the Petalite. I think this is green tourmaline. Or, uh, oh my god, purple tourmaline. Pink tourmaline. One of them. I promise it's one of those. <laughs> uh, Super 7. Palmstone. And blue Appetite. This is a beautiful blue color. Love, 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 love that color. There's a few jaspers. This is desert jasper. Um, that's really it for that. And this is from the other ones I showed. Uh, this is a raw piece of the the rare Lorimar. Lorimar. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Lorimar. Um, I'm actually getting a polished grade, triple grade piece soon. Um, that should be coming soon. It's a heart shaped, but the, I couldn't beat up the deal. The deal was, I mean, to get Larimar is very, very, very expensive. And to get a, a really top grade, it's hard to find. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I have to get this. This came in my subscription box for Crystal Council. This is pink shop <sighs> Let me breathe. Okay. Pink. Chalcedony. I'm just laughing at myself. Pink Chalcedony. There we go. Um, this is a great stone for meditation as well. I um, really like that. This is a raw piece of Howlite. This would be cool for like a countertop in the kitchen. But great stone for healing if you lose a loved one um, or if you lost someone this is a great stone to cry with and just it helps uh, with that pain process and this is one of my favorite pieces and it's so tiny but it's one of my favorite ones this is blue fluorite and this is so blue it's like raspberry let me go over here this is like raspberry jello or like blue gatorade or Powerade. It's such a beautiful blue. And to get blue fluorite's very hard to find. 
especially in this kind of color. There's some purple in there. So that was so cool to find. Okay, so these are my bracelets. And what's really cool, this is actually a fossilized piece here. And it kind of has this like Lord of the Rings look. Um, this I got from Sacred Earth. Um, this was only $23. That's a heavy piece and it's probably like a, probably six inches tall. Um, but here's my Palo Santo bracelet. This is $3. $3 from Sacred Heart earth or sacred earth crystals and again you can i mean you can take this with you and smell it and smell your wrists all day um just but here's sodalite uh dalmatian jasper i'm falling out of room here this is uh peter site um oh and there's i'm not gonna take the whole thing but there's tiger's eye Red tiger's eye, Peter's sight, and uh, regular tiger's eye. This is malachite with tourmaline and the regular malachite bracelet. Um, like I said, I love malachite. Um, and then I use this drawer. This is my desk. And I use this drawer for my um, necklaces. So this is the... Um, I found this on Etsy. And it's, uh, I love this. This is a... I forget what type of wood it is. But they showed the guy making this exact piece on a video. And if you don't know, this is the Eye of Horus. Um, I've always loved ancient Egyptian uh, history ever since I was a kid. Um, so I love that. This is a piece of uh, pyrite. This is a wrapped labyrinth. This is such a beautiful piece. Look at the blue. This is hand wrapped in like a copper necklace too i thought this is so beautiful this is my other videos i absolutely love this amethyst um my, one of my friends said this reminds them of like the alien movie <laughs> like a piece from the alien movie and i was like oh it does actually pretty cool and i have a piece of uh, selenite in there um, this is really cool. This is a clear quartz with Moldavite. I got this chain from uh, Fire Mountain Chains and Gems. And really, really inexpensive chains. Silver chain, totally inexpensive. Um, this one I've had forever. Um, of course, this, here's my uh, uh, Satanist um, pendant. Um, I got into Satanism. Um, I don't practice Satanism. Um, it's not evil. A uh, quick lesson. It's not an evil practice. We don't believe in the devil. We don't believe in evil. Um, in fact, we're the first to accept homosexuality, um, and also do a lot of charities. Um, we We've been really big into the uh, Black Lives Matter movement, um, protesting. Um, so we're all for the people. We believe in intelligence, kindness, and love. Um, but look it up. It's, it's an amazing belief. Um, so I'm kind of like a spiritual Satanist. Um, not a lot of people know that. Um, but trust me, it's nothing evil. I'm like the nicest guy. And everyone you talk to there are incredibly nice and will do anything for you. But anyway, so here's another piece. This, I forget, it's like an aura quartz. Yeah, like fire aura. So I ran out of room for my bracelets. These I think I'm going to give to my nieces or something. Because the, the, the balls are pretty tiny. Yeah, tiny balls. <laughs> this is a labyrinth bracelet. Um, red garnet. Um, here's the chakras, all chakra bracelet with lava stone, uh, smoky quartz, and one of my favorites, blue lapis with pyrite. Yep. Here's the warning, get ready to be sick. Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to close this up. 
Oh, here's a remote for something. You'll see in just a minute what it's for. <laughs> um, let me set this for, okay, 100%. Probably already know. Um, I think that's all I was gonna show for the desk. Yeah, okay, so let's move to the singing bowl. Um, I'll put in the description uh, the time point for the singing bowl because I know I mentioned about the singing bowl um, and showing you um, how to use it. Um, this took me a while to learn, um, but as you can see, there's like a rubber round piece that it sits on. And this is all made of quartz. Um, it's a beautiful quartz throat chakra. Um, and it's huge. It's a huge bowl. Um, the mallet it came with is a all like a smooth leathery kind of feel. Um, but the way I already started it. Um, <laughs> the way to actually do this, I was doing it totally wrong. And I'm still learning. I'm still not perfect, but it gets better. Um, is to really hold it light. Don't hold it so tight or nice. Soft touch, basically. And you're just going to easily press. See, I didn't even bang it. And it's already going. You hear it? So you, you don't necessarily have to So yeah, so that's a great way to hold it. Um, my good YouTube friend Chris, who's awesome, um, I'll, I'll post a link to his page. Um, he reviews a lot of unboxing. He just he's a hilarious guy, so fun to watch. Um, uh, and he was and he actually got one of these bowls. Oh, I actually got one of at one of these bowls for him. Um, and that's the thing about like being a crystal collector, being a spiritual person, is you help each other out. And you do that by exchanging crystals, um, uh, exchanging crystals, and just being there for the person. So um, I was very happy to get it for him. It, it wasn't this bowl. This bowl was not cheap. Um, but he has a handmade... Um, I believe it's from Morocco, um, brass bowl. Um, and he was having trouble with the softer side. Sorry to put you on the spot, Chris, but, um, and hopefully it's okay. But um, he was using the hard side of the mallet, which is fine. Um, but to get a nice smooth sound without that clinging, like that, like that, like that, that sound, um, you want to use the soft rubber side and it takes some practice it really does but best way to do it is hold it on the sides a nice smooth gentle side or smooth hold i'm sorry and it starts going this is what it sounds like when you hit it So you really don't even have to do the circle. Um, but let me know what you what you felt when I did that. Um, a lot of people said it give, makes their body freeze. It makes their head clear. Um, again, but this is for the throat chakra. Um, and so it's a very deep sound. Um, and really, it's just the... You can have a collection of bowls and all that. Um, there's high pitch ones for the heart, which is like a higher pitch. There's the crown, which is a higher pitch. Um, so there's different sizes, but I'm going to do this one more time. Um, and then by tapping it and then going around.
So this is great too for, again, like I said before, and after meditation, it's good to clear your aura. Um, and it's just beautiful to hear. Except my cat goes nuts. <laughs> my cat is like looking around like, what the hell, Adam? Stop doing that. <laughs> All right, so let me continue with my collection. We're already 30 minutes in. Um, here's my strawberry quartz. I didn't know this until recently, but these are um, man-made. Didn't upset me because it's still beautiful. Look at that. Look at that shimmer. Love it. Um, I love strawberry quartz. There's the fake citrine. Ugh. There's more citrines here. And this is really cool. This is called root beer quartz because it looks like root beer. Look how freaking awesome this is. This is from Crystal Aporium, um, which I'll show you the Laborite that I got from them as well crazy crazy prices but they're um, wholesalers and they um, buy directly from the miners um, but you see on the top it's kind of like ugh, not so appealing but you look at the side absolutely delicious root beer soda coca-cola whatever you want to call it there's some rainbow right there absolutely beautiful Oh, I got these shelves for these pieces too. A lot of the high-priced item pieces are one of my favorites, I should say. <laughs> um, even the fake, I still love it. But these, sh it hangs with like the sticky, it has like, I don't know. I, I don't like to drill things in holes. Um, here's some epiphyllite, uh, peach bite, um, green apophyllite. This is a beautiful one. This is from Sacred Earth Crystal. Points everywhere. Here's some peach still bite. Um, and real quick, so this is actually from a mine. Look at the point right there. Points everywhere. This is actually a mine. This was dug up in a mine back in the 80s. Um, you can tell that's the box that it came in. Um, so they kept this collection for years and they finally decided to sell them. But the old specimens from the 80s is the best kind you can get the newer kind are kind of like let me show you an example so this is green ap apophyllite with peach still bite still beautiful but you see that so the, there's some like darkness in it um and this is mined new, this is a newer mine basically um but still absolutely beautiful um, this is one of my favorite ones. This is called Spirit Quartz. Highly recommend this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. I got two of them on sitting on a selenite charging plate. That peach still bite. And I got this on Amazon. This is so cool. I highly recommend this. Um, all the chakras, tumbles of chakras, and just more of the temple chakras so that's my display that's my wall display basically so i thought that looked so cool with the shelves this is a new stone that came out i highly recommend this but be careful because they're selling this for ridiculous prices this was only 23 from crystal aporium and they're getting more um they don't chip you they are really good with their prices so um just be careful you buy it from some of them selling for like $90, even more for this. You know, just look for the right buyer. Um, but it's called Caribbean Calcite. And it's not the it's not the name of it yet because this stone actually came from Pakistan. So it's still it still has to be tested and approved by the GIA um, for the correct name and correct properties. Um, they don't even know if this is calcite yet. Um, they really don't know what's in it, but they call it Caribbean calcite because it looks like the beach. And it does. It's gorgeous. looks like the beachy sand with the water. I absolutely love this. Love it, love it, love it. And it looks great with that stand, the light wood stand. Um, little bottle of Herkimers. This is so cute. And the top part to hold them is a raw piece of sapphire. But these are great A Herkimer diamonds in there. 
Um, this one I love. This is a raw piece of fluorite. Rainbows everywhere. And the polish, look at the shimmer in that. The polish is a, a credible, credible great job on the polishing of the point. But a beautiful, beautiful piece. This tree is really cool. I have another piece. Um, this one actually broke during shipping, so they actually sent me. This is from Chris Oporium. Um, believe it or not, this was only $23, which I'm telling you, you have to, if you want the names of these dealers, please let me know. I will be happy to let them know or happy to give you the information because the prices are insane. That's an amethyst cluster. That's amethyst. And it's a good size too. Um, whoops. Not my hairpins. Um, and these are all quartz. And you can move them, you know, to what you want. Um, so, but anyway, so that broke. So they sent me another one. I have it by my bedside. This is um, clear quartz with uh, tourmaline in the middle. Um, pink. Chol cholite or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. This is from uh, a mine in Morocco. They have a mine in uh, the Congo, which is very rare um, and hard to find and more expensive. So I got this piece from the Morocco mine. A um, uh, little gem piece of aquamarine. I don't know. I just have that up there. This piece is awesome. And I have it on like a wooden stand. I thought it looked awesome with it. So I just put it on top. This is mica. Golden mica. And it's so shiny. Um, but it's very flaky. It's like dragon. It's like a dragon. It kind of reminds me of like uh, dragon scales. This is golden mica. Also, um, very hard to find. Um, it's so important to find these stones that are super rare. Get them before they're gone. Um, not necessarily gone, but until they get mined again. Um, my golden healer cube. Um, these were two gifts, uh, these two pyramids of sandstone. I love that with the obsidian cat and the pyramids, like I said, I'm into ancient Egypt, Egypt history. So I saw this, I was like, oh, this is so cool. But these are gifts from the Crystal Shack by Ashley and Daniel. Um, they surprised me with this because they know I love sandstone. So that was super kind of them to do that. My pyramids. Um, this is uh, aquamarine in stilbite. Oh no, I'm sorry, mica. What am I saying? See the flaky? But there's a nice, beautiful piece of aqua marine there. This is, I think I showed this last video, I'm not sure. This is emerald. Beautiful piece of emerald. It's in China. And that's the, that's the uh, username of the Instagram person I bought this from. Uh, she has, she, her father is a miner in Klexi's, um, gets these pieces. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, this piece, I had to find a name. Mangano, the ones that light up. My towers, um, uh, pink opal, flower agate. This is a newer one, I believe. This is sunstone. I thought this was really pretty. The red and orange, the flashy orange. I, mean, I can't stop. I love orange. So beautiful. Um, pieces of fluorite. This was like five dollars from Sacred Earth Crystals. Again, if you want the names, please let me know. I'd be happy to give the names and the links to them. Um, this is oh, blue halite. I want to say. I might be wrong, but. Do not put this in water because it will dissolve instantly. But it's so cool how it's like clear in the outside. And this blue uh, piece that's inside. I just fell in love with this. Um, there's some garden court. No, the fluorite. I'm sorry, fluorite. The rainbow flash in there. Again, sorry for the long video. You're more than welcome to forward. But I'm just showing my collection. 
uh, sodalite, a beautiful dark piece of sodalite. To find a dark piece is hard to find. Usually they're very light, but that's a dark piece. Halite. Oops. Focus. Um, this is a uh, moss agate. So it's basically, it's kind of like clear quartz, but you can see all the moss inside. They call that, and they also call it garden quartz. And there's a lab piece on there. Um, one of my, these are one of my precious stones, and I keep this in a selenite bowl. Um, green moldavite is probably the one of these stones that has the most um, energy in them. Um, moldavite comes from Russia, and it's an old ash, uh, meteorite that fell uh, millions of years ago. Um, the mine is government owned now, owned by Russia. So it's very hard to get. Um, and you have to be careful of fakes too. Um, I only get my moldavite from one seller. Um, there's different grades. This is considered, this is, uh, this is considered probably B, A, A or B. I'm gonna make B. Wow, what am I saying? It's probably considered like single A or something. This is this is double A court or uh, grade. Um, this is an actual piece of meteorite. This is so cool. I love anything from space. Anything from space is so freaking awesome. Um, I'm actually getting a piece. Um, I, have to, I don't remember the name. NWA, I believe it's called. Um, it's an actual big, huge piece of um, meteorite. Um, it's even, you can even, it's mag, it's magnet, so it can be magnetic, um, but that piece will be coming soon. Um, little piece of amber. Amber is expensive to get. Such for, such a light stone, but very pricey. Now, I, I was going to save this for, like, save the best for last kind of thing, but I'll show you now since I'm up, I'm up here. Huge fan of dinosaurs, and one of my favorite dinosaurs is a T-Rex. And when I found this, um, it's a, it's a authorized uh, paleontologist who mines this himself. Um, he found this in Montana. Um, he dated this about uh, to 80, 83 to 66 million years old that it was down. Um, and this is a T-bone, um, T-bone, yeah, T-bone steak. Um, a T-Rex bone fragment. Look how, so I am holding a piece of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. He didn't know, he can't tell what part of the bone it is because it's such a large dinosaur. But just knowing I'm holding a piece of a dinosaur blows my mind. <laughs> um, he also has another piece that he um, said he would offer me a great deal on and it's actually part of the joint of his leg um, it's a little it's a it's a little bigger piece um, but he said he offered me a good deal for it and so I'm in, I'm in talks with him right now to see um, what he can do as far as price wise um, because these aren't <laughs> so for this piece this was actually like maybe like 30 or $34. Um, and the reason why it was so cheap is because he's a paleontologist. He, he digs this himself. It's the same with crystals. So if you find a crystal miner, you're going to get cheaper prices. Um, and he has tons of pieces of bone. And they identify the that this was T-Rex um, through DNA. And um, I forget what else he said, but he said this is authorized he said he'll send me a certificate of authenticity um if i don't believe him because <laughs> i was just i was just stunned that i found this piece for the price um but like i said there's a bigger piece um it's, it's quite expensive but we're, we're, we're he's in talks with me to um find a, a get get a better deal for that um amethyst my wand I showed this in my last video too, but I love showing this. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Flash, rainbow. This is, and it's great to hold. Absolutely great to hold. And um, on the bottom part, it's all citrine. 
So I have this on like one of the Saphir, Saphir, Saphir sticks. <laughs> this is um, Rosa, Costa Rosa, front France. This is, well, anyways, this is a piece, a piece from France. They dug up in the mine. Um, these are hard to get. Um, so this is a piece from France. Um, chevron, amethyst, quartz and amethyst. This little point, very beautiful. This is from Brazil. Um, this is cool. This is like a nice druzy piece. I call it the mouth. I thought it was pretty cool. Here's my points. Now this is this is a newer stone. This is a newer find. This is called red quartz. And it's all natural. But it's red quartz, which I thought was freaking awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is a beautiful uh, blue lace agate. I don't remember if I showed this in my previous videos. I might, I might have. But this one looks like a, it has like a little eye in the middle. And look, you can see it. It looks like the, looks like a face. Like there's the nose. It looks like a witch almost. There's the eyes. There's the eyes. There's the hat. It's so cool. I fell in love with that. And there's my skull. Um, I think I explained in my last video. This meant a lot to me because uh, I had surgery in my head, and basically that's where the scar is. That's how they had to cut me. Um, and if I didn't have the surgery, my head would have been this shape. And this is actually. Uh, if you look at the history of it, um, it's an uh, ancient thing where they believe that aliens that came down in um, the pyramids um, had these shaped heads. Um, so I thought it was cool. The Marion quartz. And if you don't have one, get one. Very great to meditate with. Uh, more of the Marion. This is optical quartz. It's going to be a little hard to focus because of the how shiny it is. Excuse me. This is fire and ice. This is so cool. Rainbows everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Selenite tower. Um, Elestral um, uh, smoky quartz. This is a nice uh, tourmaline, black tourmaline raw piece of quartz. Uh, honeycomb, calcite. Love honeycomb. All kyanite, calcite, blue calcite. One, I love this piece. The blue is absolutely amazing on this. Uh, raw piece of lapis from my friend Kim. Just she's just absolutely wonderful. Uh, raw piece of pink opal, appetite, watermelon tourmaline. Raw piece of watermelon tourmaline and quartz. And green adventuring. And there's my there's one of my little bowls as well. Um, this is the uh, agnite. Um, these are one of the stones that are toxic as well, so you don't want to hold it for so long. But there's another piece of it. Um, forget what that is. <laughs> um, this is the uh, uh, septarian egg with quartz in it. You can see the little quartz. Um, this is my collection of malachite. Um, again, raw piece of malachite, um, polished. Like I said, it's perfectly fine to hold a polished piece or wear a polished piece of malachite. Not good to breathe or hold because it contains copper. Um, this is a cool little piece. You can use it as a, a sphere stand if you want. Um, this is a nice little mix. This came from my friend Kim too. Like I said, she's awesome. This is um, uh, chrysocolla with malachite. So that was cool. A nice big piece of malachite there. 
Now, it, this is what you want in Malachite, is these circles and the green color. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, by the way, the remote was for the lights. I got these lights on Amazon. So it just shows the display perfectly well. Now, this is one of the most toxic pieces, um, uh, but most beautiful and um, desirable pieces, um, Wolfenite. Um, Wolfenite is, is toxic to even hold. So I'm known to get sweaty hands, so I'm not going to hold it. Um, there's a little piece of wolfenite there. And I did hold this in one of my videos not knowing it was toxic. Um, thankfully, I wasn't sweating. Um, but it's, it, if it absorbs in your skin, it's very toxic. So just, if you do have this, be careful handling this. Wash your hands right away or wear gloves when you hold it. So there's that. Selenite, and this is, this is so freaking awesome. This is uh, pyrite with red in it, pyrite, I don't know. I think it's red pyrite, I don't know what it is. But look how cool that is. So, so cool. I love that red in there. This is actually a piece of pyrite I've had since I was a kid. I found this in one of my storage boxes. Like I said, I've been collecting these since I was a kid. I love stones. Um, this is petrified wood. A, a black piece, all natural, um, a big piece there, a statue of Bathmuth. Um, again, please look it up. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, it's not evil at all. Just trust me. Because um, really, I believe Satanists, spiritualists, Wiccans, pagans, we're all together. In, 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 a, in, in the same way we all want love we all want peace we all want happiness we just want everyone to live their lives to the fullest right so uh, this piece of lava stone made into a skull hand carved thought this was really cool looks very look at it look how deep the eyes are it's kind of spooky <laughs> this is a piece of shungite cube Nicely polished, but will leave some dirt in your hands. So if you get this, you know, just be warned, it's very dirty. Um, this is so cute. Um, this is a witch's hat. Um, so, uh, Chris, I think <laughs> I think you would love this. Um, and I'll I'll provide you the name of the seller. She's she's a wonderful person. Um, but this is a Druzy piece of hand carved witch's hat. She has brooms, she has cats. Just so freaking awesome. Okay. Oh, you already saw the lab. <laughs> so this is a little piece of lab, right? Um, but you can see the color there. There's the pink. And it depends on how you hold it. The colors are always going to be different in the lighting. And fun fact, you find a lab piece with purple like that it's extremely extremely desirable to get a purple piece very hard to find too so if you find a piece of labrite with purple get it um, but even the raw piece look at that isn't that awesome Ooh. Ooh. so this video is going to be an hour long hopefully it's going to take forever to upload on youtube so I'll probably do that tomorrow. So again, sorry it's so long. I just I love showing my collection. Love to answer any questions anyone has. Please ask. Um, there's a beautiful piece of Chrysocolla. This is like top grade. Chrysocolla is awesome. Um, Bumblebee Jasper, which is so cool. Love Bumblebee Jasper. Um, there's a piece of, a little piece of angel light, which is awesome if you want to communicate with your angels or, um, spirit guides. Here's a piece of blue tiger's eye. This is a free piece that I got. 
I almost purchased a tumble size of this the other day, and I didn't because I was like, I think I have this, and I do. And I thought I'd show my other, this is a plate, fossilized plate, I got from the Crystal Council. Really cool. And some other tumble pieces. Um, this is a rose quartz egg. Well, actually not egg, freeform, really. Um, Amazonite. This is really cool. Beautiful color of Amazonite. Um, and this is from Sacred Heart Crystal. They do boards, and you basically first one first come first first come first serve um, board. And I saw this right away. I saw the color and picked it right away. And thankfully, I got it. So this is a flower agate. But the color of this is beautiful. So puffy, and just the darkness. Just uh, I just love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I saw, and this is all my other videos too. Carnelian flame. Very beautiful with a pocket druzy in there, the cave, um, a, a rhodonite freeform. Now this is awesome. Ready? Look at that. I don't even have to move to show you the flash of this labyrinth piece. And <laughs> this is from Crystal Porium. Um, and it's heavy. Um, but I don't even have to really move to show you the flash. <laughs> this is what you want in Labyrinth. If you don't have to move, that's a great piece. And it's all on the sides here. Not so much in the back. Oh, there's, there's, there's some. There. I love Labyrinth. But $35. $35 freaking dollars for this. Amazing. Um, I also got my bed stand with my watches, my collection of watches, um, here's the other piece, this is the piece that they resent and, um, Amethyst Clear Quartz, um, uh, Tourmaline and Quartz, Smoky Quartz, piece of Smoky Quartz, a uh, piece of, uh, Shungite, Raw Shungite. And it's really good um, to put it between your phone. I put my, you know, here's my bed and here's my charger. So it's good to put it in between. Um, it blocks the current or EMF. I believe it's EMF or current. Um, so I highly recommend that. Um, does it, I think it works, but they say it works. Um, and I've researched it and it does say it blocks out the, the signal or whatever between you sleeping and the um and the bed or charging whatever and i got this on amazon uh, it's a person meditating with all the chakras um i saw so many people have this in their background of their bed i was like oh, let me do that it's so cool so um yeah and that is it but that is my display i gotta find room for these new pieces pieces i have to charge them um put some good attentions um set some good attentions with them um so that is my collection and i'm gonna stop buying for a while um just because i don't have any room um i have to find room i have to find places to put this um so um yeah oh i wanted to show this real quick so these um these are uh, incense. I started getting back into it. Um, I have a couple more coming in. These are 99 cents a piece from, um, I'll have to go to the shop name. If you wanna know, let me let me know. I can get that. This, this came with it. This was uh, $3 and these were 99 cents. But this is, this coconut, oh my God. It's amazing. It's, it's like sex on a stick. Honestly, it smells so good. Also, Kapow. Kapow is really good. It's not floral. It's very earthy. Um, so, I can't get over this piece. Look how, look at that. So sparkly. And this too. I, I'm just, I'm really ecstatic with what I got. 
really ecstatic. Confused why I have so many of the quartz, but you're gonna never have enough quartz, right? Never have enough quartz. Um, so that's Mexican fire opal. So this, I'm confused of what this is. Is this a herc too? Not a good grade of herc, but this might be a. I'm thinking about it, it might be a herc. Not not a great good grade of it, but yeah, th yeah. There's the herc. There's, anyways, I, I'm getting distracted. Sorry. So this hour was a video, <laughs> an hour long. Um, so thanks for watching. Again, please, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm reading um, all the time and learning. Um, here's one book. Hopefully, it's showing healing stones, fragrances, and herbs. Um, great book. Um, I'm also reading what's called the Crystal Bible to identify stones. Um, you're not going to remember. I can't remember all what I have, um, as you s see in the video. Um, but it's good practice. So if you have any questions, um, please let me know. Comment a like and subscribe if you would like. Um, I'll be doing more videos as other things are coming in. I do have a few more coming in guilty um but that'll be it for a while um and i think i think the other videos i might do more videos just you know questions answers about me how's my day going reviews i don't know i'll think of something um you know and the past month has been absolutely crazy um this virus is crazy um what happened to george floyd was horrendous and and more and more um of our brothers and sisters um in the african-american um community are getting killed um and really it's it's police brutality in general needs to stop um and I have my opinions on how it could. A lot of people say, well, it might not work. But I think actually additional training, a lot more training. Right now, cops are only getting 16 weeks of training. Um, I think they should get 160 weeks. Um, they do that in Europe. Um, and they don't even hold guns in Europe. Um, London, for example, they have just the baton sticks and the um, stunner. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But that's all they hold. Um, and their crime rate is extremely low. So we have to do that. Um, and it's also us. We have to change. We have to be smart. We have to... Make our, everything we do is a choice. And we have to be smart about our choices. Um, I make a lot of mistakes. And I learn from them. But it's up to me. Because... Our lives are our own story, right? We're our own storybook, um, and we decide what goes on in the story. The people in the background, the people you might be at an airport and you see all these random people, they're just extras in your story. You won't, you won't ever talk to them. You won't ever see them again. They're just extras in your story. But the people you actually communicate with all, every day, the people you get to know are part of your story. So focus on that. Um, where the hell was I going with that? I don't know. Um, but be smart, be knowledgeable. Um, and most importantly, I can't stress this enough, please vote. I'm not happy with the candidate, candidates we have with all the choices that we could have had I'm not happy at all with what we have, but it's good for now. Um, but it's important to vote, and I'll I'll put this right out there. I wanted Bernie because Bernie was a believe a believer for change, and a lot of things he, he said was going to be impossible. But it's actually happening now. It's happening now. So, um, and he's always fought. He's fought for civil rights. He's fought for gay rights. 
Um, he, he's just an incredible person, absolutely incredible, um, intelligent. Um, but anyways, so we have Biden. Biden's a great guy. He has to be careful because I don't know what's going to happen with the debates. I'm a little nervous about that. Um, but my vote's for Biden because Trump cannot be reelected. I'm not prepared. We're so close to civil war, it's not funny. And we need to prevent that. So please register to vote today. If you're not registered, register to vote. The primary election is in November. Um, so you have a while, but November is going to come like that, right? Um, I can't believe it's June. It's insane. Um, with this virus, please, please, please wear a mask. Um, you're protecting yourself and you're protecting others by doing it. It's a sign of respect. So just wear your mask. Um, and from what I read and from the scientists, they're saying that the second wave that will be hitting probably around September, October, um, maybe even sooner, um, is going to be worse. Um, I'm hoping it's not. Um, so let's, let's be smart. Let's be smart with our choices and stay protected. And remember, this virus is dangerous and it's mutating um, to different levels. So anyway, so please stay safe. Um, be healthy. Be kind. Love one another. And a simple thing of going to going to someone and or randomly messaging someone and saying hey how are you doing today can change that person's life forever a simple question can change someone because maybe they needed that maybe they needed some support maybe they need some guidance or someone to talk to so do that build those relationships and that's what we're not doing enough we're not building those relationships enough we're forgetting that we're forgetting that people need to be heard. People need to be, we need to take care of each other, honestly. Like, it just needs to be, there needs to be more peace. There needs to be more love. And let's, let's do that. It's not hard to do. Be kind. So anyways, um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I love answering questions. Um, and I can make videos of answers. Um, ask me questions, I'll answer them in the video in more detail. I'd rather do the video. Um, so anyways, so have a good night and thanks for watching this hour long video. Um, it's like watching a movie. I mean, I can keep talking, I should shut up. <laughs> anyways, good night.